look, one lens flare. Oh, look at that. Hi, it's Paul at Xingyi Academy again, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about linking sequences, Liang Huan. Okay, we've talked about Liang Huan before, I think, but if not, or if, you, if you're not um, familiar with them, Liang Huan are a little bit like forms, except they're not forms, right? So forms are rigid, uh, rigid kind of set sequences where you repeat the same thing again and again and again. Liang Huan are sequences which can be adapted and mixed up and, and messed around or created even. So my idea is that we're going to give you a little Liang Huan that one of my students is going to make up on the spot. This is where the art of martial arts come in. We're not going to kind of create movements out of thin air. What we're going to take is we're going to take those movements that we're already familiar with and we're going to string them together. So this has got lots of things in there. It's, it's all about learning to adapt, learning to be creative and it's going to get you into a focus not on a set sequence and doing the, the postures and applications perfect but it's going to give you a little bit of focus on how do you transition between one movement to the other. So to begin with what we're going to do is we're just going to make a really simple uh, maybe four or five movements um, based on the five elements Liang Huan uh, linking sequence and we're gonna go from there so over the weeks and months we will probably get more and more elaborate throw in some animal techniques and so, and so on maybe even do some partner sequence Liang Huan as well but to begin with today we're gonna go through the process of creating a short simple five elements linking sequence okay here's Andrew Say hi. hi guys. Okay, Andrew's gonna uh, make a short four or five movement linking sequence. We're gonna go into it in quite a bit of detail. We are gonna stick to five elements um, applications, five elements movements to begin with. So we always start from a santi. We're just gonna go in, lift the hands and drop down. We're not gonna do the opening movement. So basically he's got five choices of the standard five element movements to begin with, or you can use some of the variations that you may know or may not know. So um, it doesn't matter how much you know or don't know. If you if you know like two or three movements, you can start to vary them. You can start to mix them up. If you only know one, you're a bit screwed. So um, start this after you've learned more than one movement. Okay, so Andrew is gonna think of his first movement. So tell me what you're doing. Hung. Okay, so this, one of the things that we do when we do Liang Huan like this is that you, you analyze what you're doing and make sure that everything connects together. So he's, he's doing a standard Hong Chan with the weight forwards, hand out, twisted out, okay? So what might you do off the end of this one? I was thinking it's right. Okay, so, so show me how you've done that. Okay. So we're gonna go. So we're gonna go into hung, hung, and then as if you were coming out of the primary palm and so on. Okay. Half step in, and then back out with the second foot. Half step in and back. Okay. And then feet. Yep. Turn around. Okay. Good. Turn. 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 And then. Feel for one pound. Well, pound. And you're gonna go this way. Just give the switch direction. Okay, and then we can just finish there. We'll just drop, step back. Down. Okay, let's do that again because it's quite easy to remember. <coughs> and we just analyze the transitions. So we've got a hung here, yeah? And then we've got to think about um, the application point of view of this, yeah? So it's, it's good to think like like you're doing this with someone in front of you. So if, if you do a hung at somebody, and then you're gonna step up, you wanna have this as a threat. So you're gonna do like a shun, what we call a shun, you're gonna skip in the same direction. So we're going hung, and then as this comes up, bam, make sure that this kind of threatens, yeah? Maybe even have a little hook here, yeah? Because we might be wanting to like, uh, we like to sweep something out of the way as we come in and do the zvan. Okay? So, we've got hung, shin, zvan. Then we're doing a P. So again, you see how the zvan wants to press forward so that it flows into the next movement. 
Okay. And then here we're going to turn to make sure that the, this hand comes around quick. The, the, the head turns and this hand covers quickly. Yeah. And then this hand's coming out into another zone. And then again, this hand's out. We want to pressure. We want to press with this. If we're stepping up, that's it. Bring the hands out. So both are threatening. At this point, you notice that like when this foot comes up here, I could go this way. I can go this way. So it's, it's important that both these hands at that point are symmetrical so that you're kind of hiding your intent as to which direction you're going to go. If I just go straight out like this, it's more obvious that I'm going to go this way. Or if I come out and already start to bend this arm out to, to deflect, it's obvious I'm going to come this way. So make sure that after that round, both hands come out and then you stretch. Okay? And then just finish and then once you've got the sequence you've learnt the sequence and you've kind of started to polish out those transitions start to try and do it continuously and then smoother and smoother until you've got a really nice little sequence that's, that's really smoothed out so this sequence is something that you can take away and have a go at yourself so we we'll go through we we'll go through without stopping so we've got hand, shun, zang. Turn, turn, sweep, back. Okay, that's pretty good. So, let that be your Liang Huan of the month. Have a little go of that. Make sure to check out the cards, click on uh, and the link and go through, sign up to the email list and you'll get a free mini course all about Xing Yi body movement, which will be really good for you when you're making your little sequences like this. That body movement has to be there, the compression, expansion and twisting in order to keep that momentum going through your linking sequences. So sign up to the email list and you'll get that for free.